uh, to show you another method of how we can uh, import uh, files and do things with them. Uh, the IDIS file that uh, was supplied, I read that into um, uh, a CAD, CAD system and just created a uh, 2D drawing of it as a DXF file just to show you how we can do that. But uh, you could do the same thing with uh, SolidWorks of course. Okay, so I'm in our CAD system now which is just a straightforward 2D CAD system. Uh, so if I open up the uh, the DXF drawing that uh, I created right so that's the uh, 2d drawing now I could have taken the geometry uh, for the uh, for the milling from this as well but I thought we'll do something a little bit different and show you the turning uh, so what I'd want to do is I just need to produce a, uh, a profile of half of that shape so all I'll do first of all is I'll just split these lines uh, I'll break them apart at the center position and then that will give me a position where I can put my datum for machining it there for the lathe and we'll create a uh, profile of this shape okay so that's created the profile so now I can save that away call that test cylinder 2 take that through into the turning module of Partmaster uh, check on my tool change position and then define the tool I want to use so use a standard turning tool and put that on a rear turret and select that tool for use set the spindle speed and the feed rate if we need to use constant surface speed we can do that here and then we'll do a turning operation so this is a roughing from there and this will be the bottom left hand corner so I'm just describing a rectangle where I want the tool to work within and I give it a finishing allowance in the z-axis and in the x-axis and we give it a cut depth okay so that machines that if we animate the tool So that just produces a roughing tool path on that shape. If we needed to use a finishing tool, then we could define a different tool or use the same one. But for a finishing operation, we use profile turning and we'll set the approach to be normal. So it'll approach from the center line, three millimeters, machine all the way around and then exit out and have a nice arc. Okay, and then if we send the tool back to its home position. Okay, so that's that job done. Uh, as with um, the milling, if we want to post process that now and just see the G code file, we click on post process and call up the post processor. This is a standard uh, Fanuc uh, post processor, and then we have a window open at the bottom which is our standard G code for turning that part. So that's how that works.